Okay, so welcome to tutorial four. Um, this time we're going to look at how to use the Revolve tool. So we'll call this one tutorial four Revolve. And once this opens up, right, as you know, or hopefully know by now, every time we open up a new file what we need to do is to create a sketch okay so this time we're going to click on sketch and we are going to sketch on the front plane so a little bit different than what we've done all before um, we are going to click on front which is over here and this time we are going to use the line tool and um, you can either click on line up here or once you get used to all the shortcuts you can click on L on your keyboard um, we're going to start from the origin once more, which is this little orange dot. And we're going to draw a vertical line. We'll draw a line. You guys can draw whatever shape you want, really, um, but something like this. Um, what we're going to create is a very simple looking glass. Okay, there's the school bell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we're going to create a very simple looking glass. Um, we're going to add some dimensions, really doesn't matter what dimensions you choose, but it's best practice to choose something to fully constrain it if possible. won't always be possible, but if possible, try and add some dimensions to things um, so that it's fully constrained. Where possible. Okay, there we go. Right, once that's complete, we're going to choose the revolve feature. Okay, so Revolve is up here in the top left, or as ever, if you're unsure, hit Alt-C, and you can search for Revolve. Right, so it's automatically filled in that the face that we want to Revolve is face of sketch one. Okay, now if that isn't in there, all you need to do is to click here, and it will fill that in for you. Okay, in red we need to click on the red for revolve axis to highlight that so it's blue and then we are going to click on this line all right and we can see that what it does is it essentially takes the shape that we have drawn so the sketch that we've drawn and it rotates it 360 degrees okay if we wanted it to be a little bit less so full means 360 let's say that we wanted it to be less than that so we can decide that we only wanted it to revolve 180 degrees. I've put in 181. Um, but we can decide how far we want to revolve it up to 360. But for this one, let's choose full. And we will hit the green tick to finish that off. Okay, let's view it from isometric by clicking on the corner of this cube up here. Um, we're also going to shell this you should remember this from previous video so we click on shell and we'll select the top surface again and let's do it let's do it five millimeters and there we go all right what i also want to do in this video is to show you some of the other sketch features or some of the other features sorry so we can add a fillet to a line and a fillet is basically what a fillet does is that it curves the line so for the top of a glass we might want a small sort of two millimeter fillet um, to make it less sharp to make it a little bit easier to drink from so let's click on both of those and you'll see that it's add curves to the inside and outside of the glass okay let's I've shown you how to edit by now so let's open up that fillet and say actually we only want it to be one millimeter and you can see that that's changed the fillet yet again um, now that we've completed that so you've seen how to use fillet that's all we wanted really was for you to see it let's delete the fillet by highlighting it and clicking delete on your keyboard and let's instead add a chamfer okay now a chamfer is a straight line um, so you can see that once you add a chamfer it basically adds an angle to the top okay 
So let's get rid of that chamfer and let's do it on the inside. You can see the difference. So it curves it in. Um, looks a little bit better on the inside, so let's leave it there. But it doesn't really matter. All that we want to get across is how to use it. Um, and you can change the size if you like. So you can see if you click 2.5 or 3, then instead of chamfering the full 5 millimeters that we left for the thickness of the glass, it just chamfers the first 2.5 millimeters. Okay. Let's click the green tick. Um, if you like, it's up to you guys. If you like, you can have a go with adding a handle onto the glass, make it a little bit more difficult to challenge yourself, um, turn it into a cup. It's really just to have something to have a little bit of a play around with, show you the different features. Um, and so far we've covered quite a bit. So we've covered extrude, we've covered revolve, we've covered loft, we've covered fillet, we've covered chamfer, um, and we've covered lots of different sketch tools as well. Those are pretty much the main ones. We'll be able to start moving on to do some really nice products pretty soon. All right, so hit the share button, share that with me. Um, and again, any questions, feel free to email me or to get in touch. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.